Welcome back to Face Off. Vin is out. Mike, trivia question of the week. Don't screw right. it up. All right, I'll try not to mess <laughs> this one up. All right, so since we were talking about the NHL new draft, draft lottery rules, I figured I have one about the NBA so we can make it fair to Kevin since he doesn't know much about Thank the NHL. Thank you. All right, so back in 2008, there was a team that won the draft lottery. They went from ninth worst to the first pick. Who was the team and who did they draft? 2008. Oh. It was Seattle, Kevin Durant. No. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't because the Sixers were supposed to get that pick. They had the number two. They took Evan Turner. Who was taken before Evan Turner? Oh. Who was taken before Evan Turner? You can help me on this. Lifeline. Who was taken before Evan, Evan Turner? Who was taken before Evan Turner? Who was the team? Figure that out. First. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Can oh. we, like, go back to me or something, like, at the end of it? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's going to eat at me. I'm going to, like, okay, scream it out in the middle of my final thought. Be like, ah! Uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh wow! Evan Turner's been the least since '08 already. Holy crap! Yeah, yeah. That alien voice, dude. I know he is. Evan Turner. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I'm sorry, Evan Turner. Oh, it was the the Bulls, Derrick Rose. Yes. Oh, oh. that a boy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ninth worst to Game first pick. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> final thoughts. Kevin, I beat you. My final thought will be, um, well, since we didn't really talk about baseball today, the only thing I actually genuinely know about, um, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd give a little fancy baseball advice for everyone that's getting uh, ready to go as spring training's coming along. A lot of people are talking about Mike Trout right now. He actually gained 20 pounds in the offseason. A lot of people are speculating whether that's good or bad. Um, apparently, he put it on for muscle. Uh, he did a regimented training program. Um, but a lot of people are talking about that alongside the fact that there's allegedly a sophomore slump that Mike Trout needs to worry about. I'm going to give you advice right now for fantasy baseball and say don't be an idiot and take Mike Trout, okay? This guy hit 326, second best in the major leagues, only behind the guy who won the Triple Crown, led the league in runs, stolen bases, at the age of 21, hit 30 home runs, 83 RBIs. I remembered all this. That's how freaking good this guy is. Do you think there's a sophomore slump? Do you really think that Mike Trout has to catch up with everybody else or everybody else has to catch up with Mike Trout? First overall pick, take him. Why, why is everybody talking about Mike Trout having a possible sophomore slump? Nobody's talking about Bryce Harper. No, yeah, I don't know, because he has the Under Armour training commercial that shows him really pissed oh. off in the snow, <laughs> like, I'm working and out. Mike Trout has said that he loses weight during spring training. That's why he built on his 20 pounds, so when he loses the weight, he'll be back to where he was last year. That's why he put, built on the muscle. He's going to put he's, the pounds. He said he's going to lose it. He's going to lose it. The man is God. Anyway, <laughs> take, him, take him. Take him. Take <laughs> him. Anyway, my turn. Your turn. Championship week. College basketball coming this week. Everybody talks about the NCAA tournament. Championship week, I think, is very underrated. I think championship week is almost, it's not going to be at the level of the NCAA tournament, but it's just as entertaining. I mean, two years ago, I called it that the, I was going through the number one seeds, or I think, yeah, I think the number one seeds. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, the the th I listed three off, and I said the fourth one is going to be the Big East team that goes on a run in the conference tournament. Or, or at least I said the Big East team that goes on the run in the conference tournament is going to win the national title. Guess what happened, guys? UConn. UConn. Five wins in five days, won the Big East, and then won the national title. Kemba. Kemba Walker was unbelievable. Championship week, the Big East tournament was just <coughs> so fun to watch that year with Kemba Walker and with the buzzer beaters, and it's just amazing. The Big East has gone down a little bit. Big Ten's kind of been stepping up, but championship week is just so much fun. Make mm. sure you tune in championship week so many conferences to watch i will do that all right well as for my final thought i would just like to discuss the recent events that occurred occurred over in north korea involving one former basketball player dennis rodman uh dennis rodman i hope you had a nice trip and i hope they provide it well for you but here's your first problem dennis rodman you don't know nothing about north korea and what actually goes on there the fact that you went over there, come back, and are now suggesting to the President of the United States that you should just give him a call, just give the dictator a call, which you didn't even know was a dictatorship, <laughs> and you're just like, give him a call. You guys can start off and make peace about basketball. That is a joke, right? Dennis Rodman, there's never run for politics. Just go back into your rich mansion and just stay there and just never come out again. Next time a magazine wants you to go to North Korea or go to any other dictatorship country, just stay in there. Or at least learn about the country before you go over there. You're trying to tell me that... They should have kept him. They, yeah, they probably... You know, they should have kept North him. North Korea, you can have him. You can Please. Have him. He fits take in. Him. He fell for in. one of their stunts. Game ball. I'm going to take the basketball here. Did any of you guys see the senior from New Rochelle High yes. School in New York, Khalil Edney? Three-quarter court, I guess that's how you say that, buzzer beater to win the state championship. Khalil Edney, he's been on talk, he's been on talk show circuit. He was already on the talk show circuit the day after 
I mean, the guy made an unbelievable shot. If you haven't seen it yet, Google it. It's great. Also, he won a high school football championship that year, too. State championship as quarterback. Dude's the man. My game ball is going to LeBron James for beating up on my Knicks on Sunday, acting like he was actually uh, leading the game the entire time, even though they were down by about 15 at half, I think it was. Uh, LeBron had about, uh, I'd say, about half his points and uh, seven more rebounds in the um, fourth quarter, along with the, the game ceiling steal at the end with the throwdown. LeBron James is essentially the most dominant player we have seen since MJ, and it really shouldn't be a debate beyond that. All right, well, I'm actually going to switch over from basketball and go for my puck of the week. Uh, my puck of the week is going to Voracek of the Flyers, young guy in the lineup. He has now had 25 points in 23 games. So a little over half the season, he's been really well. He's been, whether it's getting goals or getting the assists, he's really stepped it up in the past couple weeks, and he's really helped out a Flyers offense that has been kind of lacking, recently been kind of getting hot, but he's been a big part of that lineup. He's on Giroux's line, right? Yeah, first line. That's why Giroux's best player in the league. He's right. Gretzky makes the guys on his line better. Yep. Wayne Gretzky's good. And Wayne go. Gretzky's good. <laughs> Kevin's NHL input of the week. You're welcome. That'll do it this week for Face Off. Mike Aleda, Kevin Kunzman, I'm Rob Cunningham. We'll see you next week.